also called the Carabina 43 on account of the fact that it's two inches shorter than the full length KAR-98K and therefore qualifies as a carbine. The Gewehr 43 is an evolution of two separate rifles developed in Germany. The ultimate goal being a mass manufactured semi-automatic infantry rifle right in the midst of World War II. Its earlier progenitors were designed by Walter and Mauser, massive global military and civilian arms manufacturers to this day. So the Gewehr 43's got pedigree. 7.92 by 57 millimeter Mauser ammunition might be a little difficult to find today, at least in Australia, but it packs a punch. Almost on par with the number four Mark III's 303 British rounds in Battlefield 5, at least in terms of damage to centre mass at range. Another interesting piece of Gewehr 43 pedigree comes from Operation Barbarossa, Nazi Germany's invasion of the Soviet Union, who, much to the Wehrmacht's shock, had recently begun arming their ground troops with a new semi-automatic rifle known as the SVT-40. Studied heavily in Germany and given the primacy of mass manufacturing, the German army dropped its demands that the Gewehr 40 series rifles drill no holes in the barrel, which allowed Walther to improve the design of its hitherto Gewehr 41 with a simple gas port to force cycle cartridges. These piston-driven designs are still used by the vast majority of semi-automatic long guns today, including the legendary Colt AR-15. Thus was born the Gewehr 43. By the end of the war, over 400,000 had been manufactured, often in satellite factories in concentration camps, using slave labour for assembly. Again, the uh, video games, realistic escapism, historical accuracy. Uh, look, just try not to think about the depressing realities of World War II too much. EA Dice certainly didn't. The Gewehr 43 is, as my very good friend in real life, Jack Frags put it, a bit of a hidden gem. It fires very quickly for a gun of its size, is almost pinpoint accurate, and holds 10 rounds, just like the Lee Enfield. It's also possible to hot load your bullets through the high velocity specialization, which when coupled with the three power scope, equal an assault class player capable of fulfilling a designated marksman role in a squad with no recon player. Even though I just love the iron sights on this, look at how sharp the top of that front post is. The Gewehr 43 is a really versatile, all-around impressive weapon. It's a shame the medics were stripped of it after the open beta, even if it is a better fit with the assault class. Like my weird and inappropriate attachment, to Lawrence of Arabia's number one Mark III, I do Battlefield a little differently to most. I just had to have that detachable box magazine. Historical accuracy aside, the vast majority of soldiers probably reloaded these guns from stripper clips, like most long rifles of the preceding quarter century, but that was about the cost of issuing several spare mags to each soldier rather than efficiency in combat theatre. I had to have it, which meant getting enhanced grips for hip fire accuracy and for going the lightweight custom stock. If you're regularly shooting from the hip with the Gewehr 43, you just you're not doing it right. They were introduced fairly late in Germany's campaign for world domination, so they're not as iconic or recognisable as firearms like the KAR-98K, but unlike the Sturmgewehr 1.5 or the Hell Regal submachine gun from Battlefield 1, the Gewehr 43 is a legit piece of war arms memorabilia. There's also a lot of room for EA DICE to experiment as they update and improve upon the online service that is Battlefield 5. New scopes, uniquely threaded barrels that were originally Originally intended for use with a special muzzle brake, but have the potential to fit suppressors or blast jackets, and even a Sturmgewehr upgrade. Some of the later war Gewehr 43s were rechambered and modified to accept STG 44 magazines. Imagine 25 rounds with this beast. As the second weapon you unlock in the assault class, not including the Ribey Rolls 1918 that the tides of war hopefully washed up on your shores early on, everyone's going to get a crack at this weapon before they make it to Overwatch esports level, which is great given Battlefield 5's at times undesirable progression system. In fact, the Gewehr 43 helped me get the hang of bullet velocities and leading a shot right across the Battlefield metagame, and should improve your skills with the SLRs in the recon class too. The iron sights are as good as they come, and again, the peak of that front post being just fractions of a pixel wide really helped me learn to aim for the head instead of just centre mass with single shot weapons. Whatever class happens to be your favourite, make sure you give the Gewehr 43 a good go next time you switch to assault, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised, nay, shocked, at just how versatile it can be. Anyone upstairs? No. 